Good morning and good morning and happy new year church. My name is Harold and together with me is my sister Joy. We are glad that you joined us in our children's sermon this morning. We have a wonderful lesson for you about the body of Christ. But before we start, let us pray. Thank you, God, for this day. And as we start our children's sermon, may you help us understand. May we learn a lot. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Harold, I can see you have a car. What type is it and why did you bring it to our class today? This is a sports car, and I want to tell you something special about cars. Please go ahead. I'd love to hear more. Did you know that if you call the parts of a car, including the smallest screws, they are about 30,000 parts? Wow, those are so many. And do they all work together to make the car move? Yes, such that if one part is missing, the car may not move, or in case it moves, it may cause a serious accident. That is very important to note. It reminds me about the, what the Bible says about the body of Christ in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Christ is like a single body which has many parts. It's still one body, even though it is made up of different parts. Though it is made up of different parts. Okay, verse 14 says, For the body itself is not made up of only one part, but of many parts. It also reminds me of a verse in the Bible, Psalms chapter 139, verse 14, which says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Please explain a little bit more. Harold. Harold, as you look at yourself, I, and other boys and girls, don't you think we look amazing? Even though we are made of one God and we are created by one God, we, st we are still different and unique. It is true that God made us with different, different, with different strengths, different skills, different viewpoints, and different opinions. But God wants us to use them well, not on a basis for self-pride and argument. You are right, exactly, just like the clutch, the wheels, the engine, the steering wheels, and all other parts of the engine work together to, in unity. So should we work together in living and working for God? True. No matter who you are, you still have a place in the body of Christ. Church, who do you know the body of Christ is? Who will tell me? The body of Christ is the church. You see... The church is just like a car. Let's turn to the Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14, which says, Haha, for the body of itself is not made up of only one part, but of many parts. Verse 20 says, As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Verse 21, So then the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, nor can the head say to the feet, I don't need you either. On the contrary, we cannot say without the parts of the body that seem to be more weaker. Harold, what if the accelerator said to the brake, I don't need you? Or if the whole car was steering wheel, where could, how could it work? Think about it. Joy, but united is not uniform. Does it mean that we all have to be the same? It means working together. Just like the, in an orchestra where there are different sounds and musicians who play in tune following the conductor to make beautiful music. So should the members of the church work together to make beautiful music of God's love for the world to hear. Joy, is it not easy to spot the people who are different from us? Yes, it is easy to, di exact, uh, to divide them as from them like boy or girl, young or old, big or small, uh, educated or uneducated, rich or poor. And sometimes we tend to hang out with those who are just like us. We, we are tempted to forget or avoid those who are different from us because differences dislike, divides us. But, mm. in the, but in the Bible, or in the Church of God, we should accept and appreciate everybody just as they are without thinking bad about them. Hmm. That reminds me of Revelation 7 verse 9. It says that in heaven, everybody, people from every tribe, nation, or language will be there. 
yeah we we better start learning how to appreciate each other now yes no matter we don't like the same clothes food or music we still have the same goal of preaching the good news of god to the world yes and if we stay focused we won't get stuck arguing on whose uh, opinions and preferences are our best and suddenly our differences will start becoming less important Harold, we need to appreciate that we are many parts focused for the cause of God. Boys and girls and the whole church, God wants us to love each other this year. It does not matter what happened last year or the other years. Let us unite in love and serve him. I choose to love you all. What about you, church? Let us pray. Almighty Father, what in heaven, thank you for the lesson that we have taught us today. Now may we make it to practice, for in Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen.